today the good sis put makeup and put a shirt to tell you guys about gay talent so i figured i already have makeup i already have a nice shirt why not make the most of it and discuss with you guys this video that people who are still in university have been asking me today we're going to be talking about my city a story So I did my CTA in 2017. I was full time. I did my CTA concurrently with my masters and I was also tutoring at the University of Zimbabwe. Was it hard? <laughs> was it hard? <laughs> CTA was hard. Hard in the sense that um it was hard. Mm -mm. It was a lot of things. The thing is, you are being compared to people who, who did their degrees in SI, the original standards. We didn't know standards. We only knew tax. Like, who takes hours of good in tax? But all the other subjects, I was seeing flames. CTA was the first time I got a 23% in my life. Yes. This is what I was so dis disgruntled when I saw that 23% and I remember I even went to tell I was so mad and I wanted to to, to share the story with like my classmates and I want to disclose his name but when I then went to him he also had an 8% <laughs> he had an 8% so I saw that you know what my trouble is <laughs> I'm better than he was but so today is the only course that I see people getting 20s, 30s, and it's acceptable. It's not even like, oh, this is out of the world. No, it's happening, sis. And best believe it. Um, I remember when media results came back, and I thought, you know what, by media, I had gotten my groove into the CTA thing. And then I think, but then media wasn't that bad. I had 40s, 50, 50, 40s, or something like that. I remember I threw the phone that I was holding down because nobody could understand how I was getting 40% at home because to them I was playing. But even without playing, you get 40% in City A. It just is how it is. It is what it is. Then when results came, there was a time when we were busy marching to let President Mugabe go. That was the most suspense I have never I have ever felt in my life because ha huh, in my for the first time I actually thought I was gonna fail. Like in other exams, you know, it's like ah oh, you know what I might have a C, you know, that's the that's the sad that's the fear, that's the sadness. City I actually thought I was gonna fail. And I knew if I was gonna fail, the Lord wouldn't then give me a contract to do articles. So there was just a lot at stake. Then the other question is, is it expensive? Yes, CTA is expensive. It takes to you, it takes out of you, not worth of 2000 if you're doing it in Zimbabwe. But lucky for me, the employer of choice had the bill covered. So lucky. So the good sis is a lucky person. So for me, so grateful to do like to cover that on my part. Um, my study plan. Uh, I think the first semester I was really just looking down at it until like test one. I got a wake up call, got serious media. Then third third test was now so media. I had like balance of my subject. So first test I was I did so I think I had like ninety something in text, and then I had like a thirty something in um in Finnac. Then I, I had uh, media, I had sort of balanced out my subjects. Then by third test, I realized I wasn't doing so well in uh, Finnac, but I was doing so well in Manac. So I then sort of traded my time, my Manac time to Finnac. But by third test, I had not passed one, one test in Finnac. So by third test, I sort of then put most of my time on man on on Finac and took it away from tax took it away from Manac and then just put it on 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 Finac. 
and the result was I actually got a 60 something percent for the first time I passed Finac and that was such a good confidence boost and I felt like I needed that because that then told me I could really actually pass CTA well the problem with CTA is even if you pass three subjects and you don't pass the fourth one it then neutralizes all the other four that you have passed so you need to be good to be on your A-gam on all four subjects so that is why that third test pass was a very good confidence boost then uh so we wrote our third test that was august then i was like you know what i can actually pass this thing september i was back on campus because remember i was doing my master's so i was staying on campus um i took time off my master's i took time off my tutoring job i was just reading listed all the topics that i needed to to study allocated days and then i was just reading up until october so I think it was like a month and a half of just extensive reading. I remember one friend of mine was telling me that if you want to pass CTA, because it was, it was scorching heat, it was hot. Uh, it was, this friend of mine would tell me that if you want to study for CTA, even if it's hot, you take off your clothes, you take a shower, you sit naked on the floor studying for CTA. <laughs> And the other thing is I would get bored because uh, my life was not just revolving around going to the dining room, coming back to read, going back to the dining room, coming back to read. So I also get to like the fact that I was on campus, so I was changing sports. So if I study in the lab, lab in the computer lab upstairs, the next day I'm like in the computer, computer lab on my floor, then the next day I'm in the library. I was just switching it up uh, to, 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 to counter fatigue. Then I was also exercising. I did a lot of jogging to the playground and back and i was playing a lot of uplifting music Buruka. Buruka. that's the type of music that i was now playing when i was studying that is how serious i was when i was studying for cta was it worth it in the end yes i've never studied like i studied for cta in my life i've never been tried like i've been tried by cta in my life getting a 23 percent a grown-ass woman an academic queen getting 23 percent cta tried it with me but i've never grown in terms of my in terms of stretching my capabilities because i also understand that the other reason why it was kicking me so hard was because i was underestimating it and i had a lot of um other side projects going on and it was just calling me to just focus on it for that time so yeah when i changed my mind when i when i sat down and set my mind to it and then realized you know what on my goals today is number one right now and just put a stop a pose on everything else that's when it started going my way in the end i got a 50 55 50 65 in my CTA results, but you know what? But not only my CTA, I be like, of course, as soon as I call it, as soon as I get registered. But like, who cares that I had a fifty percent? What I'm saying is, CTA will teach you resilience. It will teach you perseverance. It will stretch you. I don't know if it still does these days because I mean, things change. Three years is a long time, but when I did it. It really did all that and then coupled with articles that is why they say CAs have sort of a similar character because sort of these exams and this training then sort of shapes you towards one kind of character thank you so much for stopping by if you like the code I discuss here don't forget to subscribe and to give my videos a thumbs up so that the algorithm also suggests them to other people like you see you in the next video